Hello and welcome to another episode of the Organic Adventure Show. I am your host, Cy Rodriguez, and today I wanted to talk a little bit with you about exercise and asking the question, the name of the video, are you a slave to your exercise program? If you are, this video is probably going to be helpful for you. So, the reason I'm making this video has multiple reasons. One of those reasons is I was out riding my bike today and I went up to the top of a place called Flat Top in Montrose, which is at the top of the Adobes as some people know them. And it's way up there. And anyways, I got what I would consider a killer exercise getting up to the top of them and I was sweating really bad when I got up to the top and uh, rode my bike down as much of the way as I could because it was very steep and of course anytime that you do something that is something that was probably a good thing for you to do you might get insights and just good thoughts about life and and what it means to you what you've done and that is what kind of inspired this video today. And normally, I would be working out tomorrow because I have three days a week that I work out. But I've already decided I'm not working out tomorrow. And this is a freedom I have based upon the way that I figured out to exercise. There are so many ways that I think that people fall into traps with their workout programs and there could be multiple thoughts behind falling into those traps. For example, you might think, oh wow, well, if I don't do this exercise today, then I'm going to feel like I'm going to be fat, or I'm going to feel like I'm not going to be in my best shape, or I'm not going to be able to maintain my body that I've created, or maybe it's just that you don't feel clean inside of you unless you um, are able to do that workout. So, you know, you feel like something's you're not quite right or maybe you feel sluggish if you don't do your exercise all kinds of different things could possibly pop into your mind that would make you to think that you have to do your workout and if you don't do it then somehow you don't feel good about yourself or you feel guilty well there are ways of working out that will help you to achieve what I would think would be optimal or close to maximal benefits whether they are or are not is another question because everybody probably has their own definition and understanding based on their experience of what it is to really be optimal and everybody is always searching for the answer of how to optimize their life more I'm sure or I should say that there's probably a lot of people who are wanting to optimize their situation better than it is and you know it's trial and error and this and that and trying to mix a whole bunch of different factors together to figure out what's really helping you. So this is what I have learned is that I work out on average about three days a week and in those three days a week I probably get in about a total of two hours worth of exercise a week and in doing that I'm able to maintain a level of fitness and health comparable to what I've known that is very good. And at this point in my life, I can honestly say that on almost every level, I can outperform myself at any other point in time in my life. And there may be some level that I wouldn't outperform myself. It's hard to really say when you're comparing yourself to yourself into the past. But I feel good about where I'm at and I feel like I can teach this to other people. And that's why I wrote a book on the subject and it's twofold called Sexy Fit. And I'm not going to get into that right now, but of course, that's part of how I help to fund myself. So it is good to mention it once in a while. And I always appreciate it if you buy my book. So you can check that out at www.cyrodriguez.com and see if it's something for you. And it's two parts. Part of it is an exercise program that's very flexible and that gets you results. And the other part is about food and breaking free of food dogmas and dogmas of health and finding your optimal health. So that being said about the book, I no longer am a slave to exercise. 
I know that some days I work out three days a week and I have two parts to my exercise program on those three days. And some days I will only do one of those parts and the other days I will do the two parts to the exercise program. And maybe many weeks I'll do two parts on all three days. Some days I will skip completely and only do my exercise on two days because I did something else. For example, like ride my bike up to the top of a hill or dance my heart out with my little boy. And um, I just know that I don't have to work out the next day. In fact, what I have learned is it's actually better in some situations to not work out and that your energy level increases and the next time that you do work out you have more energy you're able to perform better which increases your gains that you make so knowing all of these things and the reason I made this video is to help you and of course when I say help you I know that you don't really need my help that this is all within you already it's just about reminding people of tools and ways of thinking about things that get inside you and kind of plant those seeds for you to be able to think on them yourselves and let them grow and give you ideas of ways to try things. So what I would challenge anybody to do is to not worry about it if you miss a day of your workout. Just pretend that it didn't matter at all. And then you'll be more excited for the next day that you're going to work out. So I want to thank you again for watching my video as you do. And I will leave you with, may every day be an adventure in health.